We are on a journey to watch every single piece of Star Trek media. And now we're on the animated series, episode 13. And what a journey it's been. I think every episode has been very interesting, uh, conversation sparking, and not bad, which is very refreshing because a lot of TV sucks nowadays. <laughs> and a lot of uh, animated cartoons uh, is hard to get into as an adult. But Yes, yes, like Velma. <laughs> All right, well, we're on episode 13 today, and we're going to get started right now. Well, now I'm going to laugh, because I, that time I didn't laugh at it, but now I'm going to have to laugh at it. Do you think Star Trek will ever, like, sell out and do, do like, uh, like, I don't know, something like Bones, a Star Trek story? <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of what they did with Picard? I mean, I know nothing about it, but... yeah. Um, but like a movie wise, do you think they'll ever? Oh, movie! Do you think they'll ever go back to movies? I think it, it, they're just doomed to Paramount Plus shows, and that's it. I don't yeah, think they'll ever be. I think J.J. <laughs> Abrams ruined. <laughs> he ruined Star Trek movies and Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, killed both of them. <laughs> Argo was once a land planet, but its surface is now almost completely covered by water. Our mission is to study the effects on its surface. This knowledge may save millions of lives on a Federation Ooh, planet cool. identical Looks to like Argo, <laughs> which will soon be undergoing similar transformation. As soon as our ship touched the water, it started deteriorating. <laughs> Smells. This is interesting, though. Looks like a Vulcan. It's like a shuttle, but for water. Look at Scotty's face. Why does he look like that? Is that Scotty? No, it wasn't. That's why he looked weird. It's just a red shirt. Clayton. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, you're done. So we got some scans in the water. Oh! Imagine they everything they've gone through, and then they just get killed by a sea monster. <laughs> Devil was that thing. Apparently, a life form which previous surveys have not recorded. Thank you for answering my question. That's great. <laughs> the same shot. Gotta love it. Because they know some asshole like me. Why do they go in there if, you know, yeah. why didn't they check? Uh... Oh, they just killed it. Skeleton is similar to that of a Denibian whale. I don't know what the fuck that is. Ah, I got you. Oh, my God. Whoa! Pull up. Spock, prepare to fire phasers. Pull up. You can fly, right? Yeah, I mean, they flew down. Or did it just drop? <laughs> just drop from <laughs> yeah. the Enterprise. I mean, it's a different planet, but, you, you know, you... Emergency. Yeah. You see like things in movies of like uh, objects like re-entering Earth's atmosphere. It's like you know, like a mm -hmm. meteor. It's like... Oh, 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 Bones went in head first. Oh my god! <laughs> things quick. I look how Bones' hair was just a little messed up to show that he's wet. That's cool. <laughs> Captain Kirk and First and Officer Spock leaving. have been missing for almost five days. Five oh. days? No trace of them or the Aqua Shuttle. Damn. Ducked. Okay, so they recovered the red shirt and bones. They're just above sea level, about two miles away. Thank you, Clayton. Oh, there There's it is. Something I can't believe they sent more people down there. Or I guess they just sent Scotty. Oh my god, they're face down on the water. It's been five days. Is a functioning. Can't breathe. Suffocating. Help. Oh! Something's changed their whole lung structure. Oh, they're gonna have gills. What? <laughs> oh, this is cool. They're gonna be in a water tank. <laughs> their internal structure is completely transformed, and even their eyes are covered with a transparent film, like the second eyelid of a fish. Well, that means Spock has three eyelids, because he already had a second yeah. one. It had to be done by injection. Hmm. Uh, it's highly sophisticated and completely unknown to us. That implies there are intelligent life forms on Argo. I think there's like an Aquaman type uh, society down there. Atlantis. I can't command a ship from inside an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> an intelligence that can produce this kind of mutation can change us back. We've got to find bones. It must be there. Wow. As soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> they were wearing helmets while they were in the air. That's good. Side note. If we can at some point get Sulu to do a log, then I'm pretty sure every character in this show in the animated series has done a log. Oh yeah, at some point. I could have commented on the last one that he was also heavily involved in the dialogue, so. Oh, yep. Go away. They found us. Wait, listen, go away. <laughs> Damn. They'd saved us once. I believe the phrase was, our young saved your lives once. Thank you, Spock. So it was some kids that did it and they didn't seem to approve. Yes, we, we, we literally just heard that. We got it. <laughs> I 
can see why this is another one where they saved it for the animated series. Can't have yeah. can't have them swimming underwater, or could they even film underwater back then? They couldn't have done any of this. Yeah, <laughs> God, this would be so cool to see though. <laughs> Kirk and Spock swimming. I mean, I have seen some old stuff that's like supposed to take place underwater, you know, like a, like a 20,000 leagues under the sea or something, but uh, it, all, it it would have looked terrible. Yeah, or uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Like that was all black and white, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they can't have dialogue underwater either. That building in the center. Damn. Damn it. Every fish's weakness, Annette. <laughs> You stand before the ruling tribunal of the Aquans. Mm, you think there's air breathers on this planet? Oh, I mean, they said they didn't see any intelligent life, so it makes sense that there wouldn't be. Why are they so against air breathers? Who do they run into in the past? Mm, that's probably Klingons. <laughs> <laughs> we are visitors to your planet. We come from another world. You do not live on the surface places? Clearly, this is a lie. Oh, of course. You always have to have the one aggressive one. You are mistaken, sir. Similar to the council last episode, they seem to be pretty smart. Besides that one guy. Take these spies to the surface boulders and leave them there. Jeez, dude, that thing looks decrepit. Conserve your strength. I will free you. God, they were just going to suffocate him? Nesh is too strong. Brutal. Go to the big island. Bring assistance party. How long does it take them to suffocate? A while, apparently. Yeah. Wait a minute. Who are following me? Your friends need help. Oh, yeah, they, they haven't even seen them, have they? Nope. Quick, lads. Have they cut it open? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Ripped it. I don't know. Maybe they phasered it. What? Captain, we've been trying to contact you for two hours. He has the effect like the space belt thing gave him, but he's just not wearing it, so... I don't know how they had that happening. Reverse mutation is possible. There are legends of sealed places in the sunken ruins where many knowledge records of it are kept. All right, get bones down there. There's not much time, Captain. The quake's due in less than two hours. Of course, there has to be some type of time thing. Yeah. Like, oh, there's an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get, gotta get, get it going. Gotta add that tension. I take you to the ruin. It is against ordainments. Lady, you just broke him saving us. <laughs> I think you're already too deep in at this point. <laughs> you're in too deep. We'll take you as far as the reef barrier. The ruins lie that way. Whoa! Where's Scotty? Did I see him behind? <laughs> I'm not going in there. I can't swim. <laughs> this may be the sealed place Rila mentioned. This resembles ancient medical symbols. The torso indicates mutation. Found it pretty quick there. Oh yeah, they don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was just thinking, okay, it's too easy. Remember me, bitch. <laughs> they can understand it now. Oh, yeah. Looks like Spock's probably going to mind with it. <laughs> He's got to, right? Especially now being after fish people. They got to. Or, oh. or the quake will just take it out. Yeah, that's it. Credits. <laughs> Okay, so Bones didn't have to go down there, they just brought it to him. A <laughs> scroll. What's the composition of the antitoxin, Bones? It's made from the venom of the Argo Sir snake. So they gotta go back down. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Our people can't descend to that depth. And if we break more ordainments, we will be exiled to the open seas. We must break the ordainment. <laughs> okay, alright. Oh no, is it still alive? Oh god. Oh, it's another one. No, I think that's the same one. What the? Just leave me alone. We must leave. We need more venom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, those uh, creatures are very unlucky. Just yeah, all getting yeah. crushed by things. God. Our crew goes down there, just ruins this whole thing's existence. <laughs> I also love that they're like, we need more. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, he's he's got the belt on. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. How many infusions bones? Two small, one large. Oh, how are things between those two? Yeah, true. I don't know how the kind of... Pulse is fading. Immediately starts drowning. <laughs> Pulse and heart normal. <laughs> See his right shoulder. <laughs> and the way... Oh, very suggestive. Oh, look at that. Heartbeat normal. The lungs are beginning to revert. So she I doesn't suppose. seem to care too much. <laughs> Wait, why are the webs back? The antitoxin was too strong. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> my God. 
He's starting to breathe. Quick, get him out of the tank. Oh, why would they want to come it up? It is incredible. <laughs> well, maybe because of the quakes. So. Do you want to come up to our ship? We want nothing to do with you. <laughs> You've been nothing but a problem. Get out of here. Well, no, maybe they came up to get the scroll. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. When can we beam down, Spock? The seabed should stabilize within a few hours. This has been the most back and forth I've ever seen in an episode. <laughs> yeah, Not really enough. putting the transporter to work. Ooh, the aliens doing the hip pose. <laughs> Young Aquans have decided to rebuild the great shelter. Don't lose contact with each other. We will pass ordainments to forbid it. Yeah, because those really held up well so far. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'll say, uh, I, I really like that episode. Uh, perfect example of what you can do with the animated series. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just really weird, really out there. Uh, cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I think this one was great. I, I mean, it's no, I don't think it's close to episode two, but uh, in terms of uh, ethics, morals, when to break rules, when not to break rules, uh, what we can do with the animated series, you know, really taking advantage of the, the cartoon and uh, that whole planet, the whole species. I, I wish we could see more of them in live action at some point. I'd love to see like an updated version of this in uh, current... Uh, Trek, yeah, you because know, I think this was a, a great episode. Um, yeah, that's so tough about the good ones. You really have much to say. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I will say it was also probably, uh, even though I really liked it, one of the most uh, unintentionally hilarious episodes. <laughs> yeah. uh, so much back going back and forth. I don't know if that was because of the animation or like what they were able to draw. Like, I don't know the exact reasons for why they just kept going back and forth back and it forth was ridiculous scene. uh because they clearly were able to like animate you know scotty going down there and then wearing the belts all this different stuff so it seemed like almost just a, a choice of the episode that uh, the tank thing was really cool and sick bay but uh having so much back and forth was interesting um not a ton of the crew involved beyond the big three and scotty nurse chapel was in there for a second um Nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, something I noticed. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the the Aquins, uh, really interesting addition in terms of just the lore of Star Trek. It's not something that is like weird uh, in terms of like other things we've seen where it's like, oh, how's that gonna make sense just existing forever? This is something where it's like, oh, it's just another species, you know, just on their own planet. And I don't think we've seen a ton of that in terms of like, you know, the Klingons, Romulans and stuff are also exploring space. This is just a species that's just on this planet. So that's refreshing to see. Yeah, and they had their own lore, you know, <laughs> their own little story, similar to the story of Atlantis and how the species evolved and diverged. And, uh, of course, uh, our crew comes down and solves all their problems for them and then gets out of there. Um, also, love to see a big uh, giant snake battle. That, that poor thing, man. It was just trying to defend itself, and it just got pummeled by rocks on like four different occasions. Uh, that would be cool to see in live action somehow, but never gonna happen. But uh, fun stuff. Yeah, that fun thing stuff. was cool. I just think that Captain Kirk, among all of his strengths, his number one strength is luck. I mean, just so many situations where he should have died, but he gets saved by someone or something or some circumstance. I mean, him and Spock would have been dead if the Youngs didn't just, like, you know, mutate them. Yeah. And why they decided to do that, I guess they're just virtuous, you know, and, and nice. But uh, it would have been interesting if they showed, like, the, the other side of that. Like, oh, well, why are these laws in place? And, you know, kind of showing the opposite side, but they just didn't have time. Maybe if this was a full-length, you know regular series episode they could have dived into that but yep. uh -huh. but yeah enjoyed this one what did you guys think of it let us know uh, and if it's your first time here make sure to subscribe check out all of our star trek reactions become part of the target audience absolutely thank you guys so much but that'll be it we're done